Welcome back. So I prepared the first test we're going to do now. We want to figure out if we can create a location repository with an act production DB context as an all parameter that should actually throw an exception. And we are going to use the fluent assertion. So we're going to try and figure this out using that API. And let's just create a simple action right here. That's the easiest way to do the fluent assertion. So what I kind of want to do is I want to figure out if this actually works right here. And you do that by saying, I want to be able to create a new location repository. That's kind of what I want to build, right? And let's actually just grab the name right here because I want to use the same name that I have in my name up here. I want to send something into that guy. I want to send in a null parameter right here as a egg production DB context. And again, I'm just going to steal the name right here. And actually I'm going to change it a little bit because I want it to be a lowercase d right there. Uh, the B is DB context like this. That's what they use inside the entity framework. So I'll use the same name here. There we go. And, and that's kind of the test I want to do. And I want to I expect that when that action is triggered, it's going to throw an exception, right? So I say action should throw and it's going to be a null reference exception right now. That's the one I pick. And, and let's just end it there. So right now, I've set up a very simple test right here, pretty much just explaining that when you create a new location repository and you pass in null, I mentioned that it should be an egg production DB context to force it to create that class, uh, my test, of course. And then in the end, I just explained it should throw that null reference exception. Let's see if that's the case. So let's start by creating this egg production DB context right here. And I know it belongs inside my data area. And then let's just go and create that class. It's just going to be a DB context for now. I'm not going to put anything in here until I need something from the unit test. So right now it's, it's just a blank class like this. What else do we need to kind of complete the test? Well, we needed to know about this class and that means that we need a dependency. So let's go and add a new reference and I need the reference for the infrastructure uh, adapter right here, the SQL adapter. There we go, I'll add that. And now you know about this egg production DB context. Now the second thing, that I'm going to need is the location repository. Now, actually, again, if you read the test, it's about the location repository, this test. So I probably should place that under the same directory up here called repositories, like that. And uh, just go and add that new class here. Let's go and add it. Now you can have the IDE to autocomplete some of these things for you. It's really up to you. There we go, now, now we have that available. And now you can import this new location repository, but still you can't pass this in because we don't have a constructor yet. So let's go back to the repository now, the location repository and create a constructor for it. Public location repository will pass in an egg production DB context. Let's just call it CTX like this for context and just add that there. And there we go. Now we have the constructor available as well. Let's see if our test is now happy. There we go. Now we can run the test. So let's run this new unit test right here. Run unit test. Oh, while we're in there, let me just show you a small trick. I feel it's kind of neat with the, with the actual setup in Rider. You have this small uh, auto assertion right here. And if you go in and you click run all tests, every time you save the code, it'll actually run all the tests. You can also say, I only want to run new and outdated tests. I'll do it like that. And then every time a test, some code changes like this, you'll notice that it reruns all tests. That's just kind of a, a neat feature in my mind. Let's try and open this and see what fails. Well, of course, it doesn't throw the, throw the exception right now. So we need to fix that. Let's go back to the location repository and do an if statement. If context is null, right? If that is null, then we want to throw a new reference exception. Throw new null reference exception. And that's, that's kind of all I want to do this lesson. Now, you can go and dive more into this and add more information here. And I'll do that on my own. But now I kind of just hit this null reference exception. As soon as I save it, it should actually fix it. So let's just try and, uh, and actually rerun this manually. Right, I'll right click and I'll say run unit test and let's see if it was something is weird. Yeah, so it's the testing framework. I, I think I set it for run all tests because that just seems to always work. But again, you can play around with that. Uh, it's up to you. Of course, it's really annoying if it doesn't run the test correctly. But remember, you can always right click and say run unit test. There we go. Now it seems that everything is running for the first test. Next lesson, we'll try and dive into actually adding the interface to the repository as the second text. Test. See you next time. Bye bye.